Salvation to the elect, peace, blessing, and honors to the um, apostles that's been giving us this truth, all the other brothers that's been spreading this word, spreading this truth. So I want to get into just a little bit more faith, pretty much. And that's simple. Follow the Lord in all your steps and everything you do in life. You should be trying to follow the Lord. How would the Lord do this? How do we do this in righteousness? How do we do this in order? Different relationships that you have that you're dealing with, deal with those relationships in order. Follow the Lord. Do it in righteousness. That's the word. Follow. Do everything in righteous in, in righteousness. You know, be as holy as you can, and your life will be a lot better. And you know, this Bible is a guide to to life. Pretty much, it's a guide to life righteousness and order that's what the lord gave us the commandments are all righteous things it's a righteous way of living and these things are are a part of things because these things can save you from a lot of things that you don't know that's coming a lot of things that you don't understand as a human about this world these commandments were there to warn the people to save the people it was a guide it was like a cheat code to a game it was a cheat code to life it's a lot of things as, as especially with the first humans on earth there's a lot of things they didn't understand about the world just just being created here but this bible and the words and the commandments and the truth was a guide it was a cheat code to the life if you follow these you ain't got nothing to worry about these are going to save you from all the pitfalls that you possibly could go go down so because of that we need to follow this bible we need to continue to follow the lord and do everything decency and order and that's why i want to bring out some some scriptures so i want to start with um deuteronomy uh, chapter 13 verse 4 so let's so let's get into some scriptures Ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and ye, and ye shall serve him and cleave unto him and this is for all the days of your life you need to walk after the Lord you need to wonder how the Lord would do that how would the Lord handle that and you get those answers from reading this book it's all the answers and examples in the book that's why all these stories are in this book they all work as examples of how you should follow the lord walk the lord things if you do this what's going to happen or what's possibly going to happen if you do that what could possibly happen what could come from it what happened to these people when they did this that's what all these stories are in this book for examples this is our history you know our forefathers made a lot of mistakes for us not to have to make those same mistakes you see what i mean a fool gonna go down the same road and make the same mistakes and get the same punishment but a smart person is going to read this book get this truth and learn from those mistakes and correct themselves and follow the Lord and follow the commandments and obey his voice. And his voice is telling you to follow the commandments. You see what I'm saying? It's simple. It all goes in a circle. It's, it's, it's very simple when you when you want to get it. You know what I mean? When you want to follow the Lord. When you ain't scoffing up against the, the, the holy man. You know, you ain't scoffing up against prophets. And you're really trying to follow this word. A lot of people like to scoff up against the word. But what about this? Okay, if you want to learn about the Bible and you really want to follow the Bible, you ain't got to scoff up against it to do that. You ain't got to say, but what about this? But I thought this meant this. Oh, you're dumb. This mean that. And I have to come down, break you down, humble you with knowledge, and then finally give you this truth. A man shouldn't have to do that. When I came in this truth, I didn't have to be broken down like that. I humbled myself. I didn't have to get humbled down by a man. A lot of things I was getting cut by unintentionally. A lot of bro other brothers was getting cut, but I was smart. I seen other brothers getting cut, and I might get cut by the same thing in the background, but I said, I need to correct myself so I don't get cut in public. You see what I'm saying? Damn, I'm doing that same thing that brother doing. He just got cut for doing it. And I got cut too through the spirit, but I need to correct that right now. You know, that's learning from other people's mistakes. You don't always want to be the one to have to learn head first a mistake and deal with the punishment. Sit back. See what they do. See what they did wrong. Don't do that. Learn from it. You know what I mean? A lot of different things. Let's keep going through the um, scriptures with Hosea chapter 11, verse 10. Then they shall walk after the Lord. He shall roar like a lion. When he shall roar... The children shall tremble from the west. They shall tremble as a bird out of Egypt. 
and as a dove out of the land of Assyria, and I will place them in their houses, saith the Lord. But the point is, they shall walk after the Lord. You know, when the Lord trembles, when the Lord says something, you know, he roars like a lion. I mean, yeah, when the Lord roars like a lion, we're going to tremble. We react to that. Oh, shit, let me get my shit together. You know what I mean? Let me um get righteous. Let me get in this book. Let me get more knowledge. I can get it right. You know what I mean? Because we know what the punishment is. How many times are we going to have to continue going through the punishment as a people before we finally get it right? Everybody want to try everything else. Martin Luther King tried to integrate us and try to um get us to fit in with this world. He failed. You know, pastors, Christian pastors have been preaching this everybody stuff. For a very long time, and they've been failing. Things ain't got no better for us. We just got more rock to sleep, if anything. You see what I'm saying? So how many times, how long do we have to stay at the bottom before our people realize, don't celebrate the 4th of July. Don't give these people your money. Follow the Sabbath day. Follow the commandments. How many times are we going to have to get punished before we finally wake up and realize what we need to do is follow the law, statutes, and commandments and follow the Lord? I mean, come on, it's just, nobody knows the answer, but they won't even read the most part in the most popular book of all times that gives you all the answers. Just sit down and read it. Just sit down and get to reading it, man. And take your judgment in the way that people taught you, take that and throw that out the window. And just humble yourself, come in like a baby, a fresh mind, with no perceptions of it, and just sit down and start reading it. Most people are going to get it. Especially if you're an Israelite, you're going to get it off the bat. And these things are going to start to line up. Don't scoff up against it. You see what I'm saying? Let's, um, let's keep moving forward and get some more scripts. Because it's all about the scripts. See what I'm saying? First, First Corinthians. First uh, Corinthians chapter 14. Let's start from verse 49. Wherefore, brethren, correct to prophecy and forbid not to speak with tongues. Let all things be done decency and order. What's that decency? What's that order? Those commandments, laws, statutes, the way that you handle things, the way that this book told us we need to handle things. Let all things be done decency and order. You're teaching a man, let you teach that man in decency and order. You rebuking a man, let you rebuke that man, but do it in decency and order. Have a purpose behind on it. The purpose is for him to get it. You might have to cut him deep where it hurts so he can humble himself and come back and get it. But everything has a reason behind it. Let things be done. Decency, no, not let things, let all things every aspect of your life be done decency in order you need to follow every aspect of your life should be following the lord that's the decency in order and you need to follow the lord in decency in order how do you do that by following the commandments law statutes and commandments you see you see how everything wraps around the circle and it's very simple it's common sense you see you see what i'm saying i mean let's let's keep going farther um ephesians Chapter 5, start from verse 1. Be ye therefore followers of Yahweh as dear children. We need to follow him and humble ourselves like we're children. You see? And walk in love as Yahweh Shai also has loved us and has given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to Yahweh for a sweet smelling savor. See? So we got to be children in this. We got to walk in love and just like just like the Lord loved us, you know, he would sacrifice himself for us. So you got to make sacrifices for him. Give him that same sacrifice back. How many people will you be willing to get on that same cross and get crucified the same way for him? How many people would be willing to do that, you know? But even when I having to do that, just sacrifice this life. And give it into him and follow the law, statutes, and commandments. And there's a reward at the end. You have to believe. That's where the faith come in. There's a big reward at the end. Even if you can't see it, you got to have faith. And that's that's where the spirit comes in. That. Um, let's go to 1 Peter. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15 through 16. But as he which hath called you is holy... 
so be ye holy in all manners of conversation because it is written be ye holy for i am holy because he is holy we need to be holy we need to be our best holy selves and we need to be holy in the manner of all conversations if a brother ain't getting it don't stoop to his level you know you might rebuke rebuke him you might cut him sharply if he still ain't getting it Man, look, I ain't finna let go of me being holy just to deal with you. We ain't finna get to throwing blows over this. Because you being unholy, I can't deal with you. Keep walking. Keep it pushing. It ain't meant for you. Or you ain't ready to get it yet. It ain't your time. Or you just ain't one of those men that's meant to get it. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? So let everything be holy in a matter of all conversation. Let everything be done. Decency and order. Every single thing. And... Let you follow the Lord in every single in every single aspect of life. You know, you need to be following the Lord. Wondering, you know, how can I follow the Lord? How can I do this? Let's get it um let's get one more on the way in the back. Uh, so I, yeah, trying to find this okay. Trying to do this with one hand. So I hit it a little bit time. Right here. Yeah, I still like it. Family, but yeah, pretty much that's that's what this is about. It's just following the Lord with everything you do. Letting everything be done decency and order. No matter no matter what it is, you see what I mean? So let's jump to Zechariah chapter 13. Verse 8, and it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. And see, because two thirds of the people, like I was saying, if a brother ain't getting in, maybe he ain't met from him to get in. He just ain't one of them people. Who is one of those people? That one third that would be left in. A lot of two thirds, you got to think about it. The two thirds, that's a majority. That's a majority, meaning that majority of people ain't going to get this. Majority of people ain't going to really believe. Majority of the people going to think this is a game. Majority of people ain't going to follow the law, statutes, and commandments. Majority of people are going to scoff up against it. Majority of people are going to say, oh, that's back in the old days. It's not that way no more. That's the sacrifice, though. It's living like it's back in the old days, even in today. That's the big sacrifice. That's the point. You see what I'm saying? That's saying that's the point of saying I'm not gonna be of this world today. I'm gonna I'm gonna follow the law, statutes, commandments, no matter how hard it is to follow them in this world today. That's the point. That's what sacrifice is for. And two thirds ain't gonna do that. Two thirds ain't gonna really believe in this. Two thirds ain't gonna get this word. Two thirds ain't gonna do everything decency and order. They gonna be willing to fight you just for bringing out the word or call you out your name. Two thirds ain't gonna be holy in all type of conversation. You see what I'm saying? And what's going to happen to those two-thirds? Two-thirds therein shall be cut off and die. They're going to die and be cut off. And, and the third should be left therein. The last one-third should be left therein. And I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord is my God. And that's the reward. Getting back into that marriage, that covenant with the Lord. And there's a lot of perks that come with it. Better than any perk that you could possibly get in this world today. And that's the point. Let everything be done. Decency and order. Barat Yahweh Baha Shemi Ashai. Barat Yahweh Baha Shemi Salvation to the elect.